how I set my treadmill up in under two minutes. Start off by facing the treadmill downwards. If you plan on using the treadmill for anything more than walking, you will need to get the railing stood up. That, that's what I'm doing here, and then you just lock it in place. I never set the railing up fully because I don't use it for anything but walking, but it comes with a right and left handle that protrude from the railing. So you want to install that. I'm not going to show you how to do that today because I don't have that set up. One thing to know is the treadmill is too heavy for me to pack in and pack out every day. That's one of the reasons why I keep it permanently set up for walking. Next, go ahead and place the treadmill wherever you want it to be set up. For me, it's under my desk. And then lubricate your belt by using the lubrication that came with the product. So you basically squeeze it into the un underbelly of the uh, belt as shown in this video. Next, you'll need to hook the treadmill up to power. Hopefully that's self-explanatory. If the treadmill isn't getting powered on, just try wiggling the plug a little bit and it should get on. Also make sure the switch is turned on. Now you should see something that says EO7 on the digital display. Next, we have to hook in the red emergency latch. This is on the other side of the treadmill, so I'll zoom in and show you what it looks like. It's a yellow pad. All you need to do is place the red tab on that yellow pad, as shown in this video. Once you do that, you'll notice that it no longer says EO7, the digital display, it says 0.0. .0. That means you're ready to roll. So go ahead and turn it on and start walking at 0.6 miles an hour for about 10 minutes to get fully lubricated, and you're good to go.